Jaipur is the largest city in Rajasthan, and was built in 18th century by Sawai Ji Singh as India's first planned city. Jaipur is often called the pink city in reference to its distinctly colored buildings, which were originally painted in this color to imitate the red sandstone architecture of Mughal cities. The present earthy red color originates from repainting of the buildings, undertaken for a visit by the Prince of Wales in 1876. This massive fort palace complex built in hybrid Hindu-Muslim style, dates back to Raja Man Singh and was the royal palace of the Kachuhas, from 1600 to 1727. Being a capital town for seven centuries, Amber Town has several layers of historic building activities. However, the major building activity happened in the princely capital during the 16th and 17th century, when the rulers of Amber were serving in the Mughal court at Agra and Delhi. The construction of the Palace of Amber commenced in 1592 CE, under the patronage of Mirza Rajaman Singh, and the palace was continued to be built upon, until the capital was moved by Sawaji Singh II. The most significant contributions made to Amber Palace have been during the reign of Mirza Rajaman Singh, and Mirza Raja J. Singh I. According to the local beliefs, the water lifting system of the palace complex was built during the reign of Mirza Raja Man Singh. This water lifting system was principally built to draw water from the Mota Lake which houses the Kiza Kari. The Mota Lake was the main source of water for Amber Palace. The water was lifted from the lake at the Kesa Kari Garden, and was raised up to the palace through a four-storied lift system, abutting the southeastern part of the palace. Each of the four structures had their own pulley and rope arrangements, which were worked by using draft animals. Each of them had its own intake cum storage tank, and the base water drawn in Kizakari was channeled up to the storage tanks at the first or lowest story, through a section clay pipeline. The water was taken from the lowermost storage tank to the next higher one, in leathern bags slung over a pulley with a rope. The Three Stages of Water Lifting Stage 1, Initial Lifting Water was raised from the lake along the eastern facade of the Kesar Kairi, employing animals and a number of pulleys and leathern bags. The water drawn in this manner was collected in storage tanks built on the terraces overlooking the garden. From there, a sectioned clay pipeline is channeled it onto another storage tank at the base of the second stage. Stage 2, Vertical Lift by Drought Animals This stage is comprised of four separate, but connected structure, built in ascending order of tier. Each structure has its own pulley and rope arrangements using animals and had its own intake cum storage tanks at its base. The water was drawn from the lowermost storage tank to the next higher one, in leathern bags slung over the pulley with rope. Water was taken up from the first storage tank situated at the lowest level, up to the last one situated on the first floor of Baladan Gate or Drew F Gate. Stage 3, Manual Lifting The final stage of the lift employed a Persian water wheel, Rihat, or Sakya. The Sakya was operated manually. This system of Sakya in Persian appears to have been vogue as far as back as 500 BC. It comprised of a long wooden shaft rotating on its axis, which supplied power to the axle of the drum which has a rope with a number of earthen bucket attached to it. The rotating drums moves the rope with its attached vessels elliptically down and then up through the water in the tank. The pots filled up with water in the process were then carried up, decanting their content into a collection channel at the very top of the mechanism. The water was then circulated in the palace through a network of earthen pipeline. Electric pumps have replaced manual water lifting systems with motorized systems. The system involves single-stage water lifting mechanism, wherein the water is lifted directly from underground water storage tank into overhead tank, using electrical pumps. 
a case equivalent to the height of Amber Palace lifting mechanism is considered for comparative study. A 45 meters high building is fed by submersible water pump to an overhead tank on 15th floor. Impacts on the building The building have to resist a huge load of water in the storage tank which acts as dead load on the structure. The huge load of water lead to soakage of the roof, thus special waterproof measures is to be taken to protect the building. The maintenance of the pipeline also becomes difficult. Economically this method is expensive due to the various components employed in the water lifting system, and also raises a lot of electricity consumption. The second case studied during this research is placement of tanks, at intermediate level as present in the water lifting system at Amber Palace. Here the height of building is 45 meters with tanks at every 15 meters. Conclusion After the detailed study, we arrive at a conclusion that the traditional practice of water lifting at Amber Palace consumed 0.002835 kW per hour and took approximately 32 hours to lift the water to the topmost tank. But nowadays, pump consumes an energy of about 0.75 kW per hour to lift the same amount of water in 4 to 5 hours. The traditional practice was more efficient in terms of energy consumption, but was time consuming. And today's practice consumes large energy, but is time efficient.